Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another remote sensing lecture video. And in this lecture video, what I want to do is I want to talk about the idea of visual enhancements. Right. And so if you remember back to our previous video, right, visual enhancements were the data enhancements that did not change, right, there were data enhancements. that did not, right, did not change the underlying data. Right, and I said that these just change the way that we look at it, right? They may, they may change the colors we see, they may change the brightness of those colors, but they're not actually altering the underlying pixel values. And in specific, what I want to talk about is this idea of band assignment. Right, and so band assignment, like I said before, right, this controls which bands, right, controls which bands are used in which display channels. controls which bands are used in which display channels. So you might see this word display channel and be a little bit confused. This is new terminology we haven't talked about before. But what display channels are, and to understand what they do, we really have to sort of take a step back and think about how your computer monitor allows you to see the colors that you see on the screen. Right. How is it, for example, that you know that the background is black, the text is white? How do you know that this line is red and this line is green? Right. How do you know that? Well, basically, the way this works right, is the computer monitor is emitting light, and that light is hitting your eye. And depending on the, the quantity of different wavelengths, right, your eye is going to mix those together to interpret different colors. A lot of this is basic, you know, kindergarten, elementary school art class in, in a way. But computers have sort of made it a little more sophisticated. So you have to remember that a computer monitor, right, just like the imagery that we're using, is made up of a number of pixels. So this right here is going to be the side view of one pixel. So this would be if you were looking down the length of your monitor, right, you have what this is a monitor pixel. And so this is going to be very simplified, but on the back of the monitor pixel, right, there's a little diode. And this little diode right here emits red light. You have another little diode that is emitting green light. And then you have a third little diode that is emitting blue light. Right, and then you can imagine as a human being, right, you're sitting here with your little eyebrow, with your little eyelashes, right? you're sitting here with your with your eye. And you are just taking in the light. All right, so red light is hitting your eye. Blue light is hitting your eye, right? If red and blue light are hitting your eye, right, your brain is going to interpret this as some shade of purple, right? Now let's say that, for example, instead of let's undo that, right? So, so if red, if the diode is emitting red and blue, you get purple. Let's just say, for example, instead it was emitting red and green light instead. Right, that red and green light are hitting your eye. Now you're going to see some shade of yellow. Right, so it's the monitor is emitting red and green. Your eye is interpreting it as yellow. I know that I'm sort of compressing, you know, fairly complicated engineering and biology down to basic kindergarten art here, but the idea that matters is that the monitor emits various quantities of red, green, and blue 
for every pixel. And then your brain mixes those together to get the color that, that we see. So what band assignment is doing and what display channels are, so let's just, let's just define display channels in terms of, of this here. All right, so display channels are the interface to the red, green, and would help if I could make that look nice, red, green, and blue diodes in your monitor. All right, so again, this is, I'm, I'm kind of simplifying things here. But basically, when we're talking about band assignment, right, we're talking about which wavelength region are we going to use to drive the red that is emitted from your monitor, right? Which wavelength are we going to use that controls the green that is emitted from your monitor? And which wavelength are we going to use that controls the blue that is emitted from your monitor? Because right, by default, right, we expect natural color. Right, where red is red, green is green, and blue is blue. But with remote sensing, we can start to play tricks on our eyes a little bit. We can trick ourselves, so we can trick our computer into doing things that we wouldn't be able to do with, with uh, the human eye. And so what I want to do is I want to stop this video, and I want to talk through some examples showing what happens and what band assignment actually looks like um, in some examples. So hopefully this made sense. Again, just keep in mind the idea that the display channels are just a fancy way of saying ArcGIS Pro or whatever GIS software you're using, right? Can trick the computer into using information from a different wavelength region to display as red, green, and blue. That's what display channels are, right? They're the, the interface between the software and red, green, and blue coming out of the monitor pixel. So hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.